Hey, I'm Juan. I'm Yana. I'm Siti. And today we'll tell you about... Hello. Located at the heart of the peninsula Malaysia on the west coast, Selangor is the most developed state in Malaysia. It has good infrastructure such as highways and public transport and has the largest population in Malaysia, a high standard of living and the lowest poverty rate in the country. The history of Selangor started from the banks of the Kuala Selangor River where a town is located on the banks of the Selangor River which eventually became the first administrative center of the Selangor government. In general, Selangor existed earlier which is about the 16th century because before Malacca was attacked by the Portuguese in 1511, Kuala Selangor was in the colony of Malacca. Based on archaeological studies, the early development of history and cultural heritage of Selangor can be seen during the Huambian era. It later developed into Neolithic, Metal and Protestant times. At this stage, the relationship of society with outside world is growing. This is evidenced by the discovery of Donson bronze drum at Kuala Langat and three bronze bell in Klang. Before the establishment of the Selangor Sultanate, there was already a government that governed Selangor. Tun Perak Ben Tun Perpati was being appointed by Sultan Muzaffar Shah Malacca in 1446 as Penghulu Klang. Nowadays, the state capital of Selangor is Shah Alam and its royal capital is Klang, which an area of approximately 8,000 km. Selangor is divided into 9 districts namely Sabak Burnam, Kuala Selangor, Hulu Selangor, Petaling Jaya, Klang, Kuala Langat, Hulu Langat, and Sepang. Wow, that's great, Shayu. Okay, Shayu. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye. You are most welcome. Bye. Bye. Kaya nak how about the interesting culture in Selangor? For interesting culture, we should call our another friend, uh, Shafiq. Hello. Hi, Shafiq. What are you doing? Uh, can you tell us about the interesting culture in the Selangor? I have no interesting culture if I'm not interested in cultural village called Mahmeri Culture. Hi, guys. So I'm going to intro a bit about Ma Mary Cultural Village. Ma means people, Mary means forest. So that means they are the people of the jungle, also known as Basisi, Batase, since they live quite near to the sea. They live in Kerry Island, uh, separated by Selangor Coast by the Langat River. In Ma Mary Cultural Village, you can watch them do Puja Pantai, one of their yearly ritual. I'll show you the video. Memang kita menari dengan mengamu yang sekali. Nah, itu yang kemuncak Mata kasar tak nampak Dan Siapa yang mata halus dia nampak Berapa ramai yang main Dia nampak Menari sama A bit, uh, bit of info on Puja Pantai They celebrate it once a year This ritual is to appease their ancestors If they don't perform this Then disaster will happen Special music for the ritual And they also brought a special flower like Sangat disebutkan bunga telur And the shaman will summon Dia moyang like moyang guling, moyang getah Moyang silong and moyang madin Well there's another video Because after the ritual ends They will perform this jo'oh dance The jo'oh dance will have many tourists uh, Joining them too Bercara selepas kita Bercara Berjo'oh Dari nari nari tu terbuka lah Pelancong tu lah jo'oh pun boleh Siapa, -siapa je lah Dah, di mana tu dah berujung. Isara kamu tak? Berato. Dan muzik kita berhenti kan? Lepas tu kita bersalaman dengan kamu. Ucap terima kasih. As you can, as you can see in the video, the there are some people who wear masks. Those people who wear masks are male. Female dancers don't wear masks. And 
in this Mahmari cultural tribe, the masks are very special because they only use it for their dance and they also use it for protection. And the mask is made from a type of wood called pulai, pulai wood. Pulai wood is not heavy so they can wear it too for dance. But they also have many kinds of woods such as nyeri batu, nyeri bunga, meranti, merbau. These woods are for sculptures and for heavy masks they are for decoration only. I'm going to show you the pictures. Another interesting thing about Mahmeri Cultural Village is their wedding. Their wedding tradition hasn't changed since 1950s and their wedding is quite unique because the groom, the groom and the bride will bathe together. Let me show you the video. The Mahmeri wedding ceremony is another auspicious celebration which embraces spiritual beliefs and traditions brought down through the generations. Overall, Mahmeri Cultural Village is a must visit. Their sculptures, their masks are very unique. Their sculptures are inspired from the mythological creatures, their dreams, and they also sell the sculptures too. So we must support our tourism Malaysia. That's all. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. You're welcome. were made up of different races that had diverse cultures and religions but live in harmony. They have been living in peace, respecting and interacting with each other for than a decade. Malay, Chinese and Indian, one of the majority living together and sharing their life in this beautiful state. Traditional half of Slango is characterized by its wide and long roof. One of the other names is known as Rumah Lima Slango. The purpose for having wide roof is for better airflow, thus could lower the temperature in the house. The porch is one of the main part of the house since entertaining gas is highly important in Malay culture. Okay guys, so we are we are Sate Kajang Haji Samuri, the most uh, popular Sate in Kajang. So let's check it out. You can see over here we got some uh, mini museum. It's a back in the days how they sell the uh, Sate over here. The salt, the spice, and how they bake this, how they prepare the Sate. Let's go find the top of the menu. How they prepare the satay, all the beef or chicken is stick to the stick tip and then they grill on the grill using uh, burnt charcoal. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is how we eat the satay. 
Selangor has unique culture practice of wedding or in other words tradition. For example, Japanese ethnic the unique culture of wedding in Selangor. This believed to be a process of negotiation between Malay and Japanese culture. Every wedding ceremony are taken in a joyful and delightful way while having roots sustained through tradition, custom and practices. They are form and process before the wedding ceremony. The couple has to undergo stage like Merisik, memina, bertunang dan adat berkenai. The tradition of gotong royong are common in preparing for the wedding ceremony on Japanese community in Selangor. Even some people, they prefer to call rewang. Normally, they serve nasi minyak, ayam masak merah, sambal goreng and sambal tahun for their guests. When the compound is here, it is similar to arrival of the bride and groom to the wedding venue and will continue to play until the couple has taken their seat. Following the compound presentation will sometimes be a silat performance. The graceful combination of the movement will often end in a handshake between the silat performer and the groom asking for permission to continue his performance and the resuming of the reception. After the standing ceremony, the couple and their guests will attend to makan beradab. When guests want to go home, they will receive a bunga telur, mince, flour and egg from the bride. This is how the Japanese ethnic celebrate their wedding ceremony in Selangor. Hey guys, so we're in Dofi right now. So we're going to play Ballet Chiba. Okay, here's the rule. So we have two teams. One is starter team, while the other is defender. I'm Nijat, we'll be the starter team. We are men, we're so, women. Yeah. <laughs> so the defender will defend their castle, while the starter team will destroy, destroy them. them. Yeah. Let's okay. go, man. I throw first. Yeah, sure, man. Are they ready to, to, to throw at us? Okay, that's fun, fail. Let's try again. Fail. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's still not, it's still not. Okay, now, one minute turn. <laughs> one try fail. Okay, one try fail, second time. Okay, still fail. <laughs> the defender will keep 
Show me here. You cannot run. Why are you running? Why are you running? The defender will try to hit the starter team, while the starter team will always try to build the castle back so that all the members, all the members, will return to reset the game. Balik sleeper or in English we call it throwing sleeper is a traditional sport in Selangor and all states in Malaysia. It played mostly in rural area of Selangor and become much popular in kids and nostalgic experience for everyone. This is just a simple game that doesn't need any fancy equipment, just a daily footwear which is sleeper. This teach us and our kids that fun can be created by anything and anywhere. This game gives great benefit to build our social skills, our creativity, our team building, trust, honesty and many more. We are so exhausted and take a rest and have some food. To bring some spaghetti for us and our, our leader very tired. of Selangor where all the dancers hold plate on their palm and do the dancing. Um, this dance actually originated from Minangkabau trips in Sumatra, Indonesia and was brought to Malaysia. Spirit dancers are usually performed during wedding, celebration and festival. The video I show you now was performed during Espesi Tari Selangor 2019 which organized by collaboration of government and non-government organization body in order to preserve this traditional dance. Bukit Tabu is a rich located in Hulu Kombak Forest Reserve. It is one of challenging hiking spot, but the view of Cloud Gate Dam and its panoramic core of Kolumbo is worth the thrill. It is compulsory to have permission from authority to hike on this spot. Hello guys, do you ever heard about stargazing? Stargazing, yes, yeah, stargazing in Selangor. Ever heard about it? Okay, today I will to show you. But first, we have to set up our camera first. Let's go. So it's very dark over here. We can open the light first. So we are setting it. The weather is not so good.
And this is our final result. You can try by yourself at Kolokubal. Last but not least, the last photo is from professional photographer. See ya!